make God's praise glorious corporately when we contemplate His awesome works in redeeming His people and in ruling the nation, Psalm 66, 5 through 7, which reads, Come and see the works of God, who is awesome in His deeds toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There let us rejoice in Him. He rules by His might forever. His eyes keep watch on the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Pastor Todd here with a devotional for July 19th. People talk about God being out there somewhere, but they often fail to refer to Him as all-powerful and in control. Specifically, the psalmist invites us to contemplate God's awesome power as seen in the parting of the Red Sea. In the Exodus and his parting, the Jordan River, 40 years later when the nation crossed into the Promised Land. These were incredible miracles which all the surrounding nations heard about. But with the exception of Rahab, the harlot, they did not repent of their sins and humble themselves before the Lord. Throughout the Old Testament, the Exodus is extolled as showing God's mighty power in redeeming His people according to His great power. The armies of Pharaoh, the most powerful king on the earth at that time, were not a problem for God. Understand that this story of the past is not merely an ancient part of history, but it's the promise of a new day that will soon come. Thus the psalmist says in verse 6, There let us rejoice in Him. It was there at the Red Sea and the Jordan River that God showed Himself to be the everlasting Savior of His people so that it proved a common source of joy to all the righteous. The application for us is that our corporate worship should be centered on the New Testament fulfillment of God's redemption of His people, namely on the cross of Jesus Christ. The message of the cross that Jesus, the sinless Son of God, gave Himself to redeem us from our sins, that He was raised from the dead, ascended on high, and is returning in power and glory to judge the earth. This is our only hope.